Hey everyone, I'm Paul with Madcap Software. We are continuing our video series on micro content in Madcap Flare. And in this video, we're going to focus on the knowledge panel, which is similar to featured snippets from the, pre from the previous video, but this is a different container that you have a lot, actually a little bit more flexibility in positioning it. And you, we, we did see in the first video in this series, uh, an example in Google, when, if you remember, I searched for French Revolution and over in the knowledge panel was over on the side, on the right side. And so that showed uh, information for this subject, which is, you know, kind of big. The French Revolution it was a big thing. So there's a lot of aspects to it. And so that information was contained there. And so in Flare, this knowledge panel, it's it's sort of the same thing. You can use it for that purpose, but you can use it for other purposes too. I I'll, I use it for that reason, but I also use it to uh, to display steps, things like that. The thing is, it's it's a container. It's just a container, and what makes it different from the featured snippets is it by default is going to show on the right side of your search results, but you can position it on the left, or you could position it up on top. So let's dive in and check out the knowledge panel. Let's go back to our target and close this as well. Now below on the search tab below featured snippets is knowledge panel. So it's got the same kind of settings. By default, it's set to not include anything. Okay, but I could click in this and choose the same kinds of things that I selected for uh, featured snippets up above. First, let's actually remove the micro content files from featured snippets. So just hover over it and click the trash can next to both of those. And we got to, you know, we're in violation here. We got the red. So let's just tell it do not include in search results. But down here, let's select specific micro content files and let's choose about breeds and training steps down here. Same thing that we had for the featured snippets, only now it's in the knowledge panel. Let's search and we'll build our output and take a look at it. Our output is finished. Let's open it up and let's look for retriever. Same thing we did before. And now you see we don't have the featured snippets populated, but we do have the knowledge panel over on the side. And this might actually be better for this particular content, which is longer. All right. And it is set to display it like this so that we don't have to worry about running out of you know, the, the space and click the dropdown. Let's search for rollover. And again, that shows over on the right too. So you can see why I like to use the knowledge panel for certain things. I just kind of get a little bit more vertical space in there. Now let's go back to our project. Let's change things up again. Let's let's include something in the featured snippets. We'll go select. A, let's select the YouTube videos micro content file. And once again, let's build our output. And let's open our output. And let's search for rollover. In this case, I get both sections populated because it looked at the what I told it to do in the knowledge panel and I told it all right I've got this this micro content file on training steps and step by step instructions and so that included in the phrase the words roll over but I also have this YouTube uh, micro content file where I've got these YouTube videos and that phrase also included the words roll over and so it populated both. If I were to search now for retriever, probably only the knowledge panel would have information in it because there isn't anything in the YouTube videos, micro content to supply information up here. So that is how it works with the knowledge panel. Now, I told you, you have a little bit of more versi um, versatility here with the knowledge panel, I can move it. So let's quickly do that. Even though we're going to look at skins in more detail in a later video, we're going to get in there now and adjust this. So in our 
micro content in our flare project let's go to the project organizer and open up skins and i've got a side navigation skin in here and what i want to do is i need to locate the knowledge panel area and i could just go in here and expand and look for the thing but what i really like is i can use this filter uh, i just know that i'm looking for the knowledge panel stuff and as i start typing in it it just gives me something that matches it. and i go okay here it is the knowledge panel i'm going to close that you get the styles or nodes up here and then when you select when you get the appropriate properties down here and i'm going to scroll down position is what i want it's the default is right i'm going to change it to left save it and we will rebuild and look at it one more time it's finished let's open it up once again let's look for roll over and now you can see the knowledge panels on the left so if you prefer that then do that and so it's got a little bit more flexibility but still that was really easy these the feature snippets and the knowledge panel are what i call the easy bake options uh you really are just you know picking what you want and how many results you want and do you want it on the left or right and and you're done it's pretty easy uh in the next few videos we're going to going to see uh some more advanced options with the proxies so yeah there are more fields there's more to consider but you also get more choices and flexibility so we will see you in that video